Today in WWE 2K23, I have made The Undertaker a zero overall. I will have three matches to upgrade The Undertaker from a zero overall all the way up to max 100 overall. Match number one will be a 10-man Royal Rumble. Match number two will be an Elimination Chamber. And match number three will be a one-on-three three elimination handicap match against the bloodline for every elimination that the undertaker gets will earn him 100 upgrade points and for every match that the undertaker wins will earn him 250 upgrade points once the three matches are done we are going one-on-one -on -one with the final boss roman reigns on legend difficulty and as you can see every single undertaker stat has been lowered to a 30 overall the lowest it can go in wwe 2k23 and that makes undertaker a 30 overall and here comes the phenom the undertaker Undertaker. And at number two, it is the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. All right, let's see what we can do. Okay, great start. We know the game plan, though. We've done this a few times with John Cena, with The Rock. We have to create space, allow other people into this match, and take advantage of our opportunities. Because one-on-one, -on -one, we're not going to be able to hang with these 90 overall, 80 overall wrestlers. And at number three, you've got to be kidding me. It's Brock Lesnar from 2003. Our first offensive move. I'll take it, Brock. Please don't hit me. I will give you Cody right now. Here, you could have him. You could have him. Remember? No, no, no. You guys have beef. You could have him. Someone's coming in at number four. Brock's trying to attack us right now. It's Rob Van Dam, and I cannot get an offensive move. Okay, create some space. Let Cody and Brock go at it. I am going to hang under the bottom rope. I'm not going to bother nobody. At number five, it's the late, great Scott Hall. Our strategy's working, though, so far. We've created distance. We've survived five entrants. Number six is coming. We're taking Cody to old school. Still don't think I have enough to eliminate him. Who's coming in at six? It's Hulk Hogan. Who's coming in at seven? AJ Styles. A lot of Undertaker rivals in this match. Cody, no, come on. I gotta eliminate you. Good counter taker. Let's eliminate him. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Please. AJ, you're gonna help me. Move. Move, AJ. I wanna target Cody. What is going on? He's got no stamina. Let me knock him out, please. Okay, great. Looks like Rob Van Dam is actually injured. I'm gonna try to eliminate Rob right here. Orton's coming out at eight. Come on, please, Taker. Yes, Undertaker! First elimination! The next entry is super close to coming in right here. It's John Cena of 16 at number 9. And Brock Lesnar, please put me down. There are a lot of people that are hurt right now. Can we eliminate Brock Lesnar? This would be so huge. Get out of here, Brock! We have eliminated the beast! And I do want to show you all, in a match, we are a 30 overall. Hulk Hogan's injured too. He's next on my list. Get out the Hulkster! Eliminate him, Taker! Eliminate him, Undertaker! That is three! Next up will be Scott Hall. Scott Hall, thank you! Running right at me, I will take that Orton. You gotta leave me alone. You gotta leave me alone, Randy. Let me work on Scott Hall. Cody, no, 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 no. Orton, no. Don't do this, Randy. Don't do this, Randy! Leave me alone, Randy! Why, Randy? And number 10 is Dolph Ziggler. Randy Orton eliminated Cody Rhodes. I was trying to eliminate Cody for a while. I guess that's fine, but I wanted the elimination. I want to eliminate Scott Hall. He is the next man that is the most injured that we actually have a chance to eliminate. John, please. Let me just do it, John. Thank you, John. Walk away. Just walk away, Cena. Come on, Taker. Come on, Taker. We eliminate Scott Hall. Let me maybe get Orton now. Randy, do you want to go? Do you want to go, Randy? Okay, great. Do you want to go? Okay, what are we doing here? But this time, okay, no. This time, finally, we eliminated Randy Orton and we're down to three. John, you're going out. You're going out and we're getting Ziggler out. We got Cena out. Come here, Ziggler. Come here. Don't eliminate me. Do not do it. We're winning this match. You have no chance. Undertaker, get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Can we use a finisher? Oh, he just goes out. He just went out. We win as a 30 overall Undertaker. That is the greatest Royal Rumble performance you are ever going to see. A 30 overall Taker from entry number one eliminates so many competitors and walks away the winner. And with the 950 points that we have gained, that was good enough to make 19 of the Undertaker stats up to an 80 overall with a few still being a 30 and with just one match done we have jumped from a 30 overall to an 88 we might be able to skip the third match and head straight to the final boss and for the elimination chamber i put five of the undertaker's greatest wrestlemania matches during the streak into this match and we will obviously be starting this elimination chamber match and starting this match with us is the rated r superstar edge well we did really good as a 30 overall i'm expecting 
expecting great things as an 88 overall, and that's not the start I was looking for. What a Royal Rumble we had. I still can't get over the fact that we eliminated seven opponents as a 30 overall taker and won the whole thing from entry at number one. But now we need to focus on the chamber. We got five more eliminations we can get. We can win this match. I think if we eliminate three to four opponents and win, we could probably skip match number three and head straight to Roman Reigns and hopefully dethrone him before that 1,000 day reign. A good counter by Taker, but who's coming in at number three into this match? Okay, good camera angle. I can't see. It's going to be the animal. Let's hit them both. Come here, Batista. Big boot to Batista. Get up, Edge. Get up, Edge. Come here. And Undertaker's signature DDT. And another big boot to Batista. Can we get the flying clothesline? Oh, I missed it. We got another entry in seven seconds. And who will be joining us inside the Elimination Chamber match? It's going to be the game, Triple H. And in two seconds, another member will be joining the chamber. We're going to have five people in the match without a single elimination. Will it be Orton? Will it be HPK? And it is Shawn Michaels joining the match. I really would like to eliminate Edge. Edge is the most hurt in this match so far. Good counter by him, though. Batista still wants a piece of Edge. Try to get him after the suplex right here. Okay, Batista, you don't have to show off. You don't have to show off, Batista. Just put him down. What did he do to you? Oh, we got a pin outside the ring. And HBK kicks out at two. And in two seconds, Randy Orton will be joining this match. And all entrants have now been entered into the Elimination Chamber. On the top rope, Undertaker. Okay, I completely missed. Not sure how that happened. Batista just won't leave us alone. Anytime I'm trying to go one-on-one -on -one with Edge. He just wants himself a piece. Come here, Edge. You're going into the pod. Into the pod! Nice throw by Undertaker, sending him into the pod and the leg drop. We are working on getting Edge out of this match. Working on getting my signature, looking for a choke slam potentially into a tombstone pile driver and sending Edge on his way out of here. Come on, Taker. There it is from the top rope, hits Edge. And we have a finisher. Oh, it's time. Can we eliminate the rated R superstar? It's Tombstone Pile Driver time outside the ring, and Shawn Michaels is eliminated inside the ring. Batista eliminates him, and can we eliminate Edge too? And he kicked out of a tombstone. We have our signature now. Can we hit Edge with a choke slam? If he kicks out of a choke slam, this video is ending right now. There's no way he's kicking out of a tombstone and a choke slam. He was already hurt. One, two, three. Thank you. Batista's been real annoying in this match. So you know what? I've had enough of you, Batista. It's Tombstone Pile Driver time. Rest in peace, Batista. One, two. How are they kicking out of the Tombstone? I have another Tombstone. If he kicks out, I'm done here. Randy's going to eliminate Triple H. Randy's eliminated Triple H. We got to eliminate Batista. Orton, don't interfere. One, two. How did he kick out of two Tombstones? There's no chance. There is no way that just happened. Randy's dangerous, though. The man has an RKO ready to go whenever he wants it. We're going to take Batista to old school. Can we cover him after this? He does not want to be eliminated. Can we eliminate him? Batista, just be eliminated. That's it. That's all I need. One, two, three. Finally, Batista is eliminated. He was going for the RKO. We just caught Randy Orton as soon as he was going for the RKO. And now he gets to go to old school. The animation for the RKO was about to trigger. That was so close from us probably losing if he hits that RKO. Gotta watch out for it. Out of nowhere. I'm not playing around. Let's just go into a pin. Can we eliminate Orton on that? One, two, kick out. Gotta watch out for an RKO. We counter into the tombstone. Oh, I was looking for the choke slam. I was looking for the choke slam right there and he countered it. When we counter him, get up, Taker. Into the tombstone. Get him. We got him up. Tombstone time. Rest in peace, Randy Orton. One, two. How are they kicking out of the tombstone so much? Get this man out. Get this man out. Get up, Randy. We're not playing around anymore. Tombstone pile driver again. You will rest in peace, Randy Orton. Cover it. Count the three. One, two, three. 
Another match won by the Fina. What a showing in both of these matches. I do think that's good enough to skip us straight to the final boss. And we will dethrone legend Roman Reigns. And we earned 550 upgrade points from that match. And after doing some math, it'll take us 500 points to max out every stat. And now we have maxed out every single stat for the Undertaker to the highest it can possibly go. And that obviously makes the Phenom a 100 overall. It's time for revenge on Roman Reigns at WrestleMania for The Undertaker, and we are taking that title. But like we saw in the Rock video, it is not easy to beat a max overall legend Roman Reigns. We gotta get this match started the right way. Roman comes flying at us. We come flying at him, hitting Roman Reigns with the big boot. And we're gonna need a lot of that, and we're gonna start it off by taking Roman Reigns to old school. No, we're not. He's gonna counter. Two hits from a legend Roman Reigns, and we've lost our entire bar at the bottom left almost. And Roman already starting to lay into us. The counters pop up for not even a second. Don't even have an opportunity to counter sometimes. We gotta get up. We're already down, taking a ton of damage. The buttons for the counters aren't even popping up. I'm completely defenseless. What do I even do? I can't even counter. There's literally nothing to do. I just have to sit here and take all these hits from Reigns. It is not- Oh, the counter popped up for a second and I missed it because I was talking. Finally, able to counter something from Reigns. We have to take advantage. We have to get something going now. This is the first time I was able to get an offensive move since the beginning of the match. Can we take him to old school? We can take him to old school. And we connect with it. I can't even let him get a move on us. He gets one move on us. The counter never pops up. I got to take full advantage of everything I can right now. I got to try to put him away as soon as possible. And we're closing in on our first signature move of the match. And I think we do have it. Can we get him up for a choke slam? Choke slam to Reigns. Do not counter, please. Choke slam and he's down. And I'm looking for the tombstone, but he countered it. Roman Reigns countered the tombstone pile driver. Oh man, that is not good. Ready for a counter? Good counter. We are starting to counter Reigns like crazy right now and drive him straight back into the turnbuckle. Way to be, Undertaker. We are countering Roman Reigns like crazy. We can take control of this match again. We have our signature. We have our finisher. Hit him with the choke slam for the second time. And of course, he counters. Reigns has another Superman punch. We have to counter it. I got to put him away so soon. Countered into the tombstone. Please don't be a rope break. It's going to be a rope break. Oh, no. It's going to be a rope break. Oh, man. No, it's going to be a rope break. But we have another finisher. We have another finisher. We're going to fly at him. Get up, Roman. Get up, Roman. We're flying at him with the flying clothesline from the Undertaker. Get him back in the ring. Do I have my choke slam? We have a choke slam outside the ring. He counters it every time. How? And now we're in a bad spot. He countered the choke slam. He's probably going to go for a cover soon. We're busted open. I'm not liking what's happening. And now we're in a submission. We got to kick out. We got to kick out. He's going to make us tap. He's going to make us tap. He made us tap so quickly. You've got to be kidding me. It is impossible to beat this man. I had him right where I wanted him. We had Roman. How was the rope break of the tombstone? And then he countered the choke slam, and I never got to hit him again with the tombstone. And if you all enjoyed that video, I am confident that you will like either of these two videos down below, and make sure to subscribe for more content.